In this video, I'm going to show some screens and information about how to upgrade your Heroku account. As you know, or may know, Heroku is doing away with some of the free plans. And so here on my screen, you can see the message that they are showing, I think, on pretty much everybody's homepage. So what I'm going to do is click on the Choose Apps to Upgrade and we'll see some information there but also i opened some other tabs in the browser with their information talking about this next chapter of heroku so if you haven't seen these web pages you may want to take a look there's the url there and here is the product information sent out on september 26 2022 talking about their new low-cost plans and this was just updated a few days ago on November 7th, 2022. So as they pointed out, they got a lot of feedback from their customers. And they've gone ahead and created a new Eco Dino plan. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the Dino plan on this account so you can see how it works. It's $5 for 1,000 compute hours a month across all your dinos so all the shared dinos that use the eco plan they all share that thousand hours and they do sleep after 30 minutes of no web traffic so it helps consume power and helps the environment by reducing the overall power usage for them And also, the next thing, we're going to convert a Postgres database to the new mini plan, which is 10,000 rows for $5 a month. So I believe that's like half the cost of what their original plan was going to be. And if you scroll down here, you can see the product plans. The, the Eco Dinos, $5 for 1,000 dino hours. And the mini Postgres, which is what I'm going to show you how that works. So hopefully that was helpful. Also, this is the page we're going to be taking a look at in this account here, which is just a test account. And there's an FAQ. You may find some inf information there, but I didn't really see specific instructions about the expectations of what's going to happen when we upgrade up. Postgres database. So let's go ahead and go back to the main page here. And I'm going to click on Choose Apps to Upgrade. And so here's the new page where it's laying out which of the Dinos and Postgres need to be updated or if you were using Redis. So here it's showing I have this one app and it's telling me that I'm currently on the free plan for the web dinos. And so we'll go ahead and click on this subscribe to eco. You can click on it there or you can click on it here. And so it says subscribing to eco automatically converts your free dinos on all your apps to eco to ensure they are kept running when free dinos are no longer available. So like if you don't want to lose your information and apps you want to look at using this eco mode before november 28th so let's go ahead and click on subscribe to eco and i already have billing information put in this test account so there's what it's telling us it'll start on december 1st and some information you have to read over and then I'll click subscribe. And then you can see the green message in the upper right there that it converted all my free dinos to eco. So now you'll see the dashboard change now. It doesn't show that information warning about the free dinos. So now let's go ahead and do the database upgrade. So I will click into a different page here for just a moment so you can see something else 
So if I click into the settings for this application and we'll go into here and look at the installed add-on. And again, it's warning you to get this updated and you can see I have Heroku Postgres installed, the hobby dev plan, which was free and no longer will be. And so you can also see since I made the change that it's using eco dinos. So I wouldn't lose any information in any dinos that were on the eco plan now. So let's, I just wanted to show that let's go ahead and go back to the screen that we were looking at the, kind of the upgrade dashboard. And so you don't really have to change anything here. If you wanted to, you could, but it's already selected mini. And so all you really need to do is click the upgrade button and it will automatically put your Postgres database into the mini plan. So I'll click upgrade and you can see here some basic information you need to read over and then I'll go ahead and click on provision and then you can see you'll retain your data when the free Postgres is no longer available and it said it was converted successfully. So now you can see here that it no longer is warning us about that. And you can also see here that I'm subscribed to Eco. So if we go back to the main page and it hasn't been refreshed, I will hit refresh here in the browser and notice it still says free data to retain your data upgrade to paid resources by November 28th. So let's go ahead and hit refresh and you'll see that message go away. So now it's not warning me about anything as far as this application or this database goes. So let's go back into the settings here. And again, you can see it's using Eco and here it's using Mini. So it's on the Mini plan and it shows the, the estimated monthly cost, which is going to go up as the month goes on. And over here you can see that it updated the database. So from my testing and from talking to the Heroku support staff, they've built all these scripts to do the conversions for this type of a situation with your Heroku Postgres database. So hopefully that was helpful for you to see what the process is. Again, I tried to look for information on their website and their FAQ. I didn't really see anything. I even looked on YouTube and didn't really see any information about how to go through this process exactly and what to expect. So hopefully this will help you and I'll talk to you in another video. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.